Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ants of Air Dimensions New Game Minus 5 video, episode 5. And, well, I've actually lost progress since last episode. How can that be? Well, I, I was a little stumped until I figured out what's happening is that my matter is exceeding my ants' matter once again. However, since I have dimension shifts, it's doing what it would normally do in Challenge 11, which is that it causes you to lose a dimension shift. So I'm back down to zero dimension shifts. So yeah, it's interesting. Instead of automatically paradoxing, which means that, I mean, I guess it could serve like a, par a barrier to a force paradox, but that, I mean, it's not cool to lose dimension shifts. I also tried doing a time dimension shift that also resets my dimension shifts. So I don't really think more than two time dimension shifts is pretty is useful at this point. So I'm just gonna go back into things and redo what I did last episode. Isn't isn't that great? So yeah, see you when I get two dimension shifts. Okay, I'm back after a couple of well, like a day or so, and I got my six dimensions back. Or at least my dimension boost back. I also actually got six dimensions, which gets me this achievement. And the interesting thing is just how much the paradoxes are increasing. They seem to be increasing exponentially for a lot of things. Like, for example, I can get this. Okay, that actually does not increase it, but um, you'll, see, you'll see here. I can get something like this and this. And actually, it doesn't increase, but it... Here, look, look at this. When I get more fifth dimensions, it just increased, even though my antimatter went down. And I keep doing stuff like this, which I don't really know how useful that is. Same with the infinity dimension stuff. But I gotta at least do something here. And yeah, if I get six non million antimatter, which is, I would say, is probably possible, then that means that I'll be able to get a dimension boost. If I can get even more, I can get an antimatter galaxy. I'm not sure how much I'm going to want this dimension boost, because dimension boosts are fairly weak in the grand scheme of things, and maybe getting Paradox will be a bit better, because I can do like a whole bunch of stuff with that, but I still think I should try to get as far as I can here. And yes, the sixth dimension is as far as I can get, because I am locked in inside of Challenge 10, which makes there only be six dimensions. <laughs> and because of Channel 12 and how that works, I really only have three dimensions. It's just three dimensions times two. So it's it's definitely interesting how crazy this is. And also, this multiplier is starting to really come into play. The Basically, when I buy some these, instead of giving the usual per 10 dimension multiplier, I get a multiply in all dimensions based on like how many things I buy here and it's it's it was a thing from new game minus three onwards and it definitely changed the dynamic of the game because it made it like a lot easier at the beginning but once you have all your dimensions it becomes significantly harder to progress farther so it basically takes the, the exponential aspect and changes it into a polynomial out aspect. And that, or even like a linear, no, I would say polynomial aspect. I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's polynomial because it's like something like how many you buy of this times how many you buy of this times how many of, yeah, so polynomial aspect. aspect. So that's interesting. It's going to make it even harder to get well, I don't know if it's ever gonna if I'll ever get to infinity, but that that's for another ep episode. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back like fifteen ish hours later, and I have octillions of antimatter, which is crazy. I can well first I'm gonna get one tick speed upgrade, then I'm gonna get as many of these as I can possibly get. I guess I can get another tick speed upgrade on top of that as well. This multiplier is now up to 53,000, and it's starting to it's starting to hit me a little bit harder of like how like how much this multiplier versus having the per ten dimension 
thing is. And it's starting to get harder to actually get any more progress. I think I will make it to the next dimension shift because that wasn't too bad. But I don't know if I can get to an antimatter galaxy. Maybe I should just paradox. And I can get 169 nice paradoxes. Which will allow me to get a whole bunch of upgrades. But I'm not sure if that's really the best thing I can do. I can get stuff like this and this. And I guess this. But yeah, there's actually not that much I can do. I can also do the paradox dimensions itself. Which is kind of weak. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. I just need to get my antimatter up first. So, yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, I'm back after like almost a week, and this is because I have turned offline progress off. Because if I didn't turn that off, I would be paradox resetting forcefully without wanting to. So, you can see I have made it up to 140 non alien antimatter, which is enough to do one more dimension boost. Unfortunately, I'm not going to actually get any new dimensions out of this dimension boost. All it's going to do is just boost my dimensions and maybe give me more paradox points. But you can see the next dimension boost costs more than the next galaxy. And I'm not sure if I can get to the next galaxy. I didn't check the cost, but it's probably something in the range of like E40 antimatter, which I was probably in the range of like E29, E30. So I'm... I'm not sure if I can quite make it, but I was able to get 228 Paradox points. And maybe if I get back there again with another Dimension Boost, maybe we'll get even more Paradox points. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, see you in another long while. Okay, I'm back a few hours later. I've done a little bit, and you can see I can get, I'm already up to the Septillions of Antimatter. I can, I can get a whole bunch of, I can get six Dimensions. And this is at 384. It's now 1.54 thousand. I'm just I'm not going to commentate everything. That'd be pretty boring. But yeah, you can see now I'm all the way up to 34,000 times multiplier. I can even get it a little bit higher, 35,000. And I can get a whole bunch of tick speed upgrades. I can get um, more of these. And no, I don't think these do all that much. I mean, every little bit counts. And then there's this, which also doesn't really do much. But I really don't want a time dimension shift. That'll be bad. And yeah, 195 tick speed upgrades. I'm not really, I'm not quite get, getting close to this, which is the 308 tick speed upgrades and one eternity from time dimensions. Well, one eternity doesn't matter, but 308 tick speed upgrades from time dimensions. I once saw it at like 200 something, but. We're still a ways from this, and it does have a reward, but it's kind of useless. And, yeah, now, well, I just wait more. I can get 88 Paradoxes, hopefully, I can get even more later on. See in a bit. Okay, I'm back another day later, and you can see I have 10 no million antimatter. I can get more 6 dimensions, and just more of the other dimensions. All of this isn't really, doesn't really seem to be giving me any more paradoxes. I can also get, well, infinity dimensions, which are probably getting increasingly useless. So I don't, I guess I'll do this. I am losing paradoxes by doing this. So I'm, especially with time dimensions, I'm just not going to get more than uh, this. Actually, that was the most I could do anyway. So yeah, it's 2e43 antimatter. One Narnalian is e30. So I've made a total of, that's about 1.5 E35. I'm not sure if it's possible to get the 2 E43, but at the very least, if I can't make it all the way there, I'll be able to get a lot of paradoxes and buy a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, see another bit. Okay, I made a really stupid mistake and I let the paradox, or I let the matter go over my antimatter without realizing that it would just reset a dimension boost instead of giving me a paradox. So I am decided to not get another dimension boost because it seems like I can just get only about like hundreds of non-millions of antimatter and the dimension boost really doesn't do much. I don't even think it 
helps me get more paradox points. So I can like export my save and this is how many paradox points I can get, 257. I could get like this, but you're gonna see it's just not gonna increase my paradox points. Even this, it might even decrease it. So that's why I'm just gonna go get 257 paradox points and then what? I don't know. So this puts me all the way up to 261. And that, that gives me a bunch of options. There's like really expensive stuff, like these 256 ones here. Buying something reduces matter. Uh, or second dimension multiplier is raised to a power. But are those worth it? That's basically all of my paradox points. I mean, I could, you know, export my saves. Just see what happens. Like, what if I do this? 1.05? That is such a weak upgrade um, that, yeah, I'm just going to import my save with 261 Paradox points and save that upgrade till later because that's not doing much. Um, and then I'm not sure how much this is going to actually reduce matter. Um, I don't really want to gamble on all of my 261 Paradoxes. So maybe I could do some cheap, a collection of cheaper ones, such as I get another... Dimension multiplier increases two times faster. One more matter increases slower. They seem to all um, scale very quickly in cost. Then I can get infinity power boosts, paradox dimensions two and five, and time shards boost, paradox dimensions three and six. And then I can get paradox dimension four, and maybe, I'm not even sure, maybe, maybe getting those two upgrades is a mistake. Um, four to two, three to one. So it looks like getting. I'm actually going to re import my save because Paradox Dimension three, I mean, there is the Antimatter Boosts Paradox Dimensions one and four. I'm not even sure. I, I'm, I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to get this, get this, and I'm not going to spend the rest of the Paradox points because of the tick speed multiplier. And hopefully this will give me at least something. The Paradox Dimensions don't really do much. Maybe I shouldn't have invested into those. But now I basically do the exact same run all over again with two dimension shifts. And it's really, it's really not much faster. Um, I'm, I think what I'm going to do next run is I'm going to get the buying something reduces matter. That seems, that seems like a good upgrade. But you can see, like, getting all the way to a galaxy, that that is going to take just a long time, regardless of if there's matter I have to deal with. Because, like, it was taking me, like, probably 10 hours to get from just one antimatter, all the, or this amount of antimatter, all the way up to the non-aliens, or maybe the E33. And I need E43 antimatter to get a single galaxy. Now, galaxies are going to definitely, well, I don't think the galaxies themselves are going to help all that much, but I think, I'm, I, if I recall correctly, I'm going to unlock tick speed boosts, and this is another way I can boost my stuff, even though I don't think it's going to be that effective, because I think tick speed boosts are just like a bundle of tick speed upgrades, and it's like 16 tick speed upgrades, and I was at 227, so... Yeah, at least the antimatter is actually starting to increase significantly after just a minute. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.